I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. What's up, everybody? Average Sniper here, and welcome to another Player Unknown's Battlegrounds Xbox One video. And in this video, I would like to ask you guys a question and ask if you will leave your answer in the comments section. And that is, will you guys still be playing PUBG after the release of Call of Duty Blackout and the new Battlefield 5 Battle Royale mode, which is called Firestorm. I really want to know how you guys enjoyed, um, how you guys liked the Call of Duty Blackout beta, if you got a chance to play it, and what you think of the upcoming uh, Battlefield 5 Firestorm. Now, I've talked to some of my friends, and uh, some of them are kind of split both ways. So I wanted to see what the community thinks here as a whole, uh, and just see different opinions on different people about why they're going to keep playing PUBG or why they're going to stop playing PUBG, all right? So in talking to my friends about this, I found that um, some of them were very hyped for the new Call of Duty Blackout mode. Some of them really liked it, and some of them, you know, didn't enjoy it that much. And the main reason I found that people didn't enjoy it uh, was the realism factor that PUBG brings you that Call of Duty Blackout doesn't. I would say that Call of Duty Blackout, and I've heard a lot of people say this, is kind of like a cross between Fortnite and PUBG. Of course, not with the building aspect, but with the cartoonish aspect. With PUBG, you get a very realistic feeling game that's almost like a simulator. Like, what would happen if you were actually dropped onto an island with 99 other people and you had to fight to survive. You didn't have any special abilities. Uh, the only thing, the only advantage you might have other people is your skill set and the gear that you will find. I think that's one of the things that makes PUBG very unique is there's not a lot of perks. It's a very simple game and it's up to you to use tactics and strategy to win. Okay. Now, Call of Duty Blackout is the same concept except there's more to it you know they, you get to pick up perks that give you special abilities like uh, dead silence or um, reinforced which protects you from grenades uh, things like holding your breath longer when you're sniping and it also has a cartoonish feel to it uh, it is not a realistic shooter by any means it's not the same call of duty we had back in the call of duty 4 and modern warfare 2 days where they actually attempted to make it somewhat realistic with the way that it looked uh, the things that people could do and stuff like that i mean now you have all kinds of crazy stuff happening in call of duty and there's nothing wrong with that it's just that it's different from the classic PUBG experience. So the way I see it is the PUBG community is gonna, going to be a little bit split uh, when uh, Call, of Duty Blackout Bay, uh, Call of Duty Blackout comes out and the Battlefield 5 Firestorm because Battlefield uh, 5 Firestorm mode is probably going to be very realistic. So the people that have been sticking around for PUBG because it has that realistic feel are actually going to have another option to play on pretty much any platform that they play on, Xbox, PS4, and PC. They're going to be able to choose, do I want to play this realistic PUBG game at 30 frames per second or less, or do I want to play this realistic Battlefield 5 game, which in all reality is probably going to run uh, very smooth between 40 and 60 frames per second, because we've seen how good uh, DICE is at optimizing their games for console. And of course it's going to run smooth on PC. Pretty much all games run smooth on PC. Uh, so that's what we're talking about here. Uh, and then, of course, aside from just the, um, the realism factor, we have people that are upset with the bugs in PUBG. The things that don't get fixed, the things that do get fixed that create more bugs. Uh, just recently, we had the full release from uh, PUBG Early Access to PUBG 1.0 on console. And I think a lot of people thought that once the, they announced the full release and the full game actually came out of uh, its early access stages that it would be much more playable, there would be a lot less bugs. But I think a lot of people were also very disappointed to find out it was the same game with no major differences. In fact, there was a big problem that took them over two weeks to fix 
where the Xbox One X owners, which is the most powerful Xbox, were getting huge frame rate drops, making it very difficult to play. I myself have an Xbox One X, and I actually had to take a break from this game until the patch came out just the other day uh, that fixed the frame rate issues, or temporarily fixed the frame rate issues by dumbing down some uh, graphic options that aren't really that noticeable, but still. Um, I think a lot of people were upset by that and just all the things in the past that has happened, you know, the the, cra the constant crashing in the game, the frame rate drops in gunfights, uh, the desync and the lag. There's a lot of things about this game that can piss people off. And I think that's going to be one of the biggest things that's going to pull people away from PUBG. Um, and I want to know what you guys think. Like I asked in the beginning, leave it in the comments section and let me know. Um, why you're going to stick around for PUBG or why you're going to leave PUBG because I'm really curious to know what the community is going to do as a whole. And some of the recent videos I've uploaded, I've been going through the comment sections and I see a ton of people saying as soon as Blackout comes out, PUBG is dead. I'm not going to play this game anymore. The only reason I play it now is because it's my only option and I don't like to play Fortnite. And that, that's actually true. I mean, what other options do you have on Xbox? I mean, well, on Xbox, the main battle royales are Fortnite and PUBG right now. But what happens when there's two other options for battle royale games that are actually optimized and working right? And let's look at PlayStation 4. Right now, PlayStation 4 only has two choices. Basically, for the popular battle royales, uh, they have Fortnite, of course, and then they have H1Z1, which H1Z1 is also kind of a cartoony not that realistic game it's not as unrealistic as fortnite where you're uh building things and you know that that's how fortnite is nothing wrong with that but what's going to happen on uh ps4 and xbox when these other games come out you know that's that's what i'm curious about of course ps4 doesn't even have PUBG, so i don't know why i'm bringing that up just i guess as an example i'm more interested in you xbox players to find out what you're going to do um and I was very surprised in the comment section to see so few people uh, defending PUBG, you know. And I think I guess I shouldn't be that surprised because um, I guess the PUBG, I guess the the overall PUBG experience hasn't been that great for people. Yes, the game is fun. Uh, it's exhilarating. It's an amazing feeling when you win that chicken dinner. And uh, it just makes you feel good. It just makes you feel good. But on the road to get there, not only do you have to deal with what you should have to deal with, which is other players also trying to achieve that goal, but you have to deal with uh, the fact that there are three different consoles that run PUBG on Xbox. You have the Xbox One OG, the Xbox One S, and the Xbox One X. Everybody gets a different experience. Some people feel that people with better consoles have an advantage. And that could possibly be true, you know. Um, you actually do get way better graphics on the Xbox One X. But I think that's less of a PUBG issue and more of a Microsoft issue for releasing a console that plays the same games as other consoles uh, but gives you better graphics. That does kind of give you an advantage. So I can understand people's frustration there. But that's not really a PUBG thing. It's kind of a PUBG thing in a small way, but mostly a Microsoft thing, you know. And then, of course, you have to deal with... Um, the second issue, which is crashing. Some people are still actually crashing quite a bit, I was surprised to hear, getting black screens and getting kicked back to the home screen. And that has to be the most frustrating thing in the world for a Battle Royale game, where once you die, the game is actually over. You're done. You have to find a new server and keep playing that way. And then, of course, there's the lag and the desync, which the developers have already said they know it's a problem and they're trying to fix but so far the desync is still there how many times have you got um you've been peeking out of your cover and you start getting shot and you go back behind your cover you're all good and then all of a sudden a bullet randomly hits you from the guy that shouldn't be able to see you of course on his screen you are still peeking that's the desync you know and uh, that that does happen in all video games but it seems to happen a lot more in PUBG. i don't know if it's the servers or the net code i don't know i'm not a programmer but the fact is it it happens a lot so um 
I think those are the main reasons. Let's go over them again real quick. I think uh, some people will stick around with PUBG for the realistic experience, but who knows what happens when Battlefield 5 Battle Royale comes out, because that's going to be a realistic experience. I think the main reason people are going to leave is because they're fed up with the bugs and the issues. And then, of course, we have people that are just going to want to try something new and have fun on the Call of Duty Blackout. So I'm curious to see in the comments what you guys think and uh, tell me whether you're sticking around for the good old PUBG or whether you can't wait to get out of here <laughs> and start playing a different battle royale that's more optimized. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Later.